What do you mean arrows? They're bad, uh, you... trust me. Well, they soar past you as one gets a seven to hit uh, you guys and the other crit fails. It appears that two goblins are in the right-hand tower uh, in the arrow slits and are shooting arrows at you. Uh, this that dies for cover. How far away is it? It's inside a building. Well, I mean, like, distance-wise. You, you would have to hit a 20 to be able to hit this guy through the arrow slit. Even with, say, fire? Because all I've got to do is get close to that arrow slit, and when she hits me with fire, <laughs> it's bound to uh, burn him, too. The They grant three-quarters cover. So, uh, so what, a Man. minus five? Burning hands is a template, no cover saves a lot. Yeah. <laughs> So, how far is it to the entrance? Okay, so... Or the nearest wall that looks I like I can bust it down. two, three, then four is up the stairs, five, six, seven, eight, nine spaces to the, the broken doors. And then from there, you would have to find, you would have to, like, hope that to the right you could get into the room to stop the goblins. So, 45 feet, basically. To the doorway of the castle, right. yes. Well, then at least out of arrow slit range? Uh, they would not be able to hit you at the end of that, yeah. Yeah. Okay, are we in initiative then? Yes. I keep switching dice, and none of them are really giving me what I want. 19 for Kanto. Ooh. 18 for Thorlin. 4 for Callista. Sorry, Duh. give us a chance to get close. Okay, um... Just this plan. <laughs> We're like your forward soldiers. We have to get in close and put the beam on target. All right. A bit a bit like a lightning rod, except okay. fire. <laughs> right, fire rod. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Canto uh, does a uh, 12 miss you, so yes. Yeah. Uh, and then that would miss any of you, so it is now your turns. Uh, I rolled the highest, correct? Yep. Doesn't matter. And you said I wouldn't be able to hit... Oh, I could hit him to the arrow slits, but... I... I mean, it's a minus five to hit, yeah. Uh, and my attack is... They're, like, above the ground, though, so you'd have to, like... So, like, for Callista... Burning hands wouldn't necessarily just like nah, into it. Gotcha. I mean a stickler for this. A little and those bit. are the only ones that are we can see. As far as you know, only two goblins are shooting you from out. This one. This um, one. It puts if only yeah, well, into the air. Actually, puts... sorry. One is shooting you from the right side, and one is shooting you from the left side of the entrance. Okay. Um. Well, that puts me at a, a zero bonus. So I'll try to pluck one with a crossbow. See what I can do. I'll, and uh, I can't do that. Actually, I can use that. Uh, how about this? I'll bardic inspiration myself as a bonus action. No, I'll use that to shoot these fools. Okay. Yeah. Uh, seventeen. Hit with bardic inspiration. Uh, then that's a D eight plus three is seven. Dead. Yay! All right. Uh, next. So, was that on the left or the right that you just shot? Uh, right. <clears throat> uh, Thorlin is going to dash to and door. get to the get to the door. Okay. As you enter, doors stand closed to the north and the south, with a crumbling mound of rubble partially obscuring the southern hall. Uh, well, dash is basically all I can do, but I'm going to head up on the other side and kill the other stupid little goblin Okay. on so my next turn. To the east, a broad corridor ends in two more doors leading south and east. Uh, the corridor is cluttered with dusty rubble and fallen plaster from a partial collapse in the ceiling above. Um, okay. You notice uh, that the goblins who have been shooting the arrows were, well, the one's dead, but the other... And the previous, they were yelling, and the one is still yelling, and it, it echoes in this area. So you're pretty sure that 
nearby enemies might also hear you. Sweet. All right, so... Uh, For now, Thorland is just leaning against the wall, catching his breath. Uh, Callista? Cause may charm roll myself. Okay. Roll my knee tap. Um, then, uh, I guess I'll make my way over to it to the dwarf. Okay, you are you're only gonna make it about halfway to him, obviously. That's fine. I've got mage armor. Yeah. All right. So uh, the archer's gonna shoot again. He will shoot for Kanto, and he will get a fifteen. That's enough. I guess Actually, I should have told you you rolled an 11. Yeah, uh, I will cut in words and reduce it by 2. Okay. Uh, so he misses. The, uh, it is now your turn. Boom. Uh, okay, um, I'll just shoot the other one straight off through the little hole, and I got a 16, is that enough? Uh, with the minus? Yeah, with the minus. Okay, then yes. Because I'm literally Woo-hoo. just rolling. Yes. Uh, eight. Dead. Sweet. The shouts stop. Yay. For a bit. Everything is quiet. Add a couple goblins to my little kill counter here. And pluck teeth for the necklace. Did we get them? Glist the shouts. <laughs> no. <Are> you sure? <laughs> you get, uh... Let's see. You each get, uh... 180 experience points for this and the previous goblin encounter. 180. So 17. 18. 20. Does anybody remember where we left off? Sounds about right. 1820 is where we're at now. 1820? Yeah. Okay, so I've read you the script. Presumably both of you catch up to Thorlin. You have the description of that room. Let's go find some go- some goblins to kill. How does that sound? Yeah? That sounds excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Works for me. That's so we can good. we can kind of scan the room. I mean, do, can I make just a perception check to see if I notice anything with my dark vision before okay, well, we wander like said, a hall? Uh, there's closed doors to the north and the south. A crumbling round a mound of rubble partially obscures the southern hall. There's a broad corridor to the east uh, that has a door on the south side of it. You know, it's kind of like a Tetris piece on its side, you know? Uh, so, that little offshoot has a door down and a door to the right. What do you think, guys? Doors or hallway? Lead the way, dwarf. Uh, I didn't get to bust down the other door, so uh, closest door. Kind of equidistant. Like a left or right? I'll take door number one. Okay. And I'm not. I'm. I'm going to try and knock it down. I'm not even going to bother trying with the. Yeah, as you all enter, uh, suddenly the doors from the north and the south bust open, and. Hello. Three goblins run out from the south, and four hobgoblins run out from the north. Ho ho. Hello. And raised by your alarm. Not our alarm. Stupid goblins. Uh. Was this after we broke into the room? Did nothing come out of the room we broke into? You didn't break into a room. You're, you oh, we didn't break yet. Okay. Is, you didn't, yeah. So, all right. Uh, is that another initiative roll? No, stay with the one you have. So the goblins are going to rush forward, and uh, the reason I asked is I want to see which way you were going, so that way if you're leading, then that puts someone in the back, and that tells me who is closest to the goblins, who's closest to the hobgoblins. The answer is Callisto would be closest to the, the goblins. Um, and two of them will rush her, while one rushes Kanto. Uh, the first rolls an 18 to hit, without any additives. Against who? Callisto. Oh. The other one rolled a 13 versus you. That's not going to be good enough. And versus Kanto, a 14. Nope. All right, Damage versus Callista, uh, four. Okay. This is now someone's turn. It is my turn. Okay, so there's three hobgoblins. And four hobgoblins. Four hobgoblins and three... Yes. Three regular goblins? Yes. 
Alright, and the three regular goblins are on us right now? One is on you, two are on Callista. Can I hit all three of them with a sleep? Yes. I will do that. Just cast as a second level. Uh, boop. And... Oh, <laughs> 28. That's probably pretty lucky. Yep. Is had you rolled big, you might have put Callista to sleep. Uh, the three goblins fall asleep, and Callista rubs her eyes drowsily, but is awake. Yawn. <laughs> Been a role play there. Oh no, it was good. It was good. All right, uh, next. So, or what hop goblins. They're, they're within charge. They're within charging range, I assume. Yes. I'm gonna ax uh, hobgoblins. Remind me, they're not like huge or anything, right? They're huge sized. They're, they're like people sized. Yeah. <clears throat> um, let's start this. Uh, yeah, they're off. pretty bulky, but yeah, their strength is decent too, huh? Yeah. Uh, it's not. I mean, it's not like adventurer programmed, but yeah, it's not bad. This, a tripping attack would be a lot of fun. Um, you know what? I'm gonna start off with a menacing attack. Against whichever one is closest and on my left. Uh, okay. Oh, crit! I'm keeping the white die going. To hit? So he's hit. What he's does hit. he have to do? Uh, okay, menacing. He needs to uh, make a wisdom save, DC 13. Um, he will fail, but first do max damage plus roll. Plus my action die thingy. So uh, it's going to be do, do. Four, 14 plus oops. 14 plus 6. And this one went off the table, so I'll re-roll it. Uh, plus 7. He's dead. Or the other one's 7. So 14, 20, and 7. He's dead. Killed. Okay. Next. Callista? Someone? Um... It's just the goblins, uh, hop goblins, still standing. I'll uh, I'll firebolt him. Is yeah. there anything between me and them? Nope. Well, Thorlin. So, so nope. Uh, <laughs> Basically. Oh, yeah. I'll uh, I'll burning hands. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 come on. Stuff arts, guys. What is your uh, fourteen for your spell save? Uh, yes. Is it a deck save? Yes. One gets out of the way. I got a 20, so I take half. You got a 20? Oh, I rolled 18 plus then, my two. Yes, then you take half damage. Okay. Uh, I knew it was coming. <laughs> I was yeah. like, sidestep, woo, that's hot. Uh, Callista, no. burn the dwarf. Hey, hey, Callista, burn the dwarf. Hey, hey. I'll use a second. That should be our theme song. No, right. I think it so, 3d6. Uh, 3, 4, 10. So, five. And half, yeah. 10? Half, yeah. And so, 5 if you saved. Yup. Two of the hobgoblins reel in pain, the other just kind of grunts. The goblins continue to sleep. You okay yeah. there, buddy? Three goblin or three hobgoblins swing at Thorland. Here it comes. <laughs> 17? Roll Hits. a 17? Yeah, that's a miss, isn't it? No. Oh, with my shield? Yeah, sorry. I keep forgetting about that. That is a miss. Okay, am I, am I needing to tell you the rolls or the totals? Okay, no hits. Like me. So I'm going to repost one. Okay. Oh, you bastard die. It wanted to be a 20 so bad. But it rolled over to a two, so that's <laughs> not gonna matter. Wasted die. Wah wah. All right. Back to me. Well, yeah. All right. Uh, I'll just plug one of the wounded ones with a crossbow. Uh, there's two sets of wounded ones. Uh, two sets or just two wounded hobgoblins? There's two who took. The full brunt of the oh, yeah, one of the super weaker ones, <laughs> one of the extra crispies. Yeah. 
We're going for kill Steal skills here. Kill. Yep. Uh, <laughs> 19. Okay. And 1d8 plus 3 is... Holy crap, that's 11. 7? 11. Oh, <laughs> Wishful thinking there. <laughs> that's a hobgoblin. Take it. I did not see that coming. That'll look good up on the mantle. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Is it me? I don't know. Yes. Oh, then I'm gonna hit him. Uh, where's that white die? <clears throat> the more wounded one or the less wounded one? Um, the one that didn't take the fireball that's still alive. So or the less? burning hands. The less, yeah, I'll, I'll swing at the less damagey one. The, yep. the medium rare. Uh, 22 to hit. Hit. Oh, uh, seven. Dead. Oh, I'll take it. Not often you can kill somebody on a damage roll of a one. <laughs> All right, then I'll You did I'll seven kill. damage on a roll of a one? Yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I get three for my strength bonus, one for the axe itself, and two for my dueling. I just wow. love the way you said that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I done swung the axe. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, I'll just fireball to one that's still standing. That's uh, 23 to hit. Miss? I don't know. Does it even matter anymore? Just, just, just kill it. <laughs> uh, two damage. To the more wounded one. Yes. There's only one left. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> he dies. There's only one left. He had one HP. Doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Moving on from there. Three goblins, just, just chilling. Yeah, let's, let's uh, uh, stab those. Let's make goblin sushi. Go ahead, Thorlin. You crit automatically and do a seven damage on a. Oh, what, was it six or seven damage on a one? On a one. Uh, I get a plus six to damage with yeah, my axes. I think so. you cannot possibly not kill them. I'm thinking so. I want to like uh, Bill Murray and Caddyshack them. Like the flowers? They're, yes, they're little noggins from their heads. Cinderella story. Out of nowhere. It's in the hole! It's in the hole. It's the second oh, time I've gotten to do that tonight. Nice. <laughs> via that reference for something. Was that a sex joke? <laughs> <laughs> if you tell it right. That's a legitimate question. Have you not seen Caddyshack? Oh, no, I've seen Caddyshack. Oh, okay. Quite a few times. All right. I just wanted to make that joke. I see. Um, all right, you each get 150 experience. Bringing you up to three hundred or three thousand and thirty. Three thousand thirty. Right, I think. Yep. Yes. Sounds right to me. Doing it in my head. All right, without it written down. Um. I feel like he's making fun of us. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> um. And or I'm making fun of Mike and Scott, but yeah. You know. Uh, I'm not really. I love you guys. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Um, thank you for listening to our podcast. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> That's the best part. Uh, I love it. All right. So you find yourself still in this room. The north door and the south door are open. The two doors and the little, like, corridor to the east are still closed. Well, cool. all yours, dwarf. Go for it. Door! Wait, go back to the one I was going to go to before we were so rudely interrupted. As far as I know, the one you're talking about, if I would just go, like, clockwise, starting left to right, would be the open one to the north. <laughs> no, no, I want to Charge door. the open door. <laughs> <laughs> so are you just going to charge the door straight in front of the entrance, just straight east? Yes, that one. All right. Excellent. I should have just. I should have just said that one. Okay. Yeah, what were you thinking? I don't know. He wasn't. Uh, strength roll? Give me a second. Give me a dex check. Uh-oh. 
just a check. Thirteen. Uh, no, make it a saving throw. Uh, thirteen. That's a. All right. That's a trap. And there is no wars. door. There is no. If you take uh five damage as the ceiling collapses upon you. Oh, excellent. As you kind of half trip over a trip wire in the ground. Knew that was going to happen. Yeah, that's why we saved you <laughs> first. Geez. I was I was quite clearing a, I was clearing the trap so you guys wouldn't hit it. It makes Man. quite a deep rumbling sound that echoes throughout. They already know we're here. Excuse me. It's we're okay. okay. It's okay. We're okay. So I'll dust myself off and charge the door yet again. <laughs> Ye- tenacious little bugger. All right, uh, strength check. I can let the deck uh, save. Sixteen. <laughs> 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 the oh, door busts open. Flex has begun. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> he has to mute himself. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. Oh, I love it. I love this it. This could be this, a drinking game. This high, narrow hall looks as if it might have been part of a chapel or shrine at one time. Angelic figures are sculpted along the room's upper reaches, looking down on the floor below. To the north, heavy curtains block a matching pair of archways. Between the archways is a cracked but ornately carved stone brazier. Any gold? Not that you see. It's a cracked but ornately carved brazier? Is that what you yes. Said? Can yes. I inspect the brazier? Uh, sure. Uh, I guess that, what would that be, Perception. Yeah. Perception is plus five, so that's 14. The stone brazier contains a mound of coal. Uh, Woohoo! Buried under which is a small gold statue of a sun elf. Oh. Wrapped in a crimson, crimson cloth. I'll take it. One crimson cloth gold sun elf? Yes. Cool. Awesome. Give me one second. Okay. Um, give me a... Uh, no. No, never mind. Uh, should I do a history check on this thing? <laughs> no, you're fine. Okay. Well, I mean, fine, but... This crack brazier, isn't it a brazier, like, hanging from the ceiling? No. no. Not at all. I mean, they, I, I think they... Yeah, and a brazier is just a big fire thing. Okay. Um, suddenly, from above, something smacks you like a tentacle whip. Oh. Uh-oh. As a giant body falls atop you. Oh. 